Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a Bubbles the Powerpuff Girl inspired makeup look video for you. It is coming up to Halloween and I have this makeup from the Powerpuff Girls collection from Revolution in my collection and I wanted to give it a go and I thought what better time to do this than Halloween. Not everybody has to go scary, I thought I'd do a cute little video as well. So this is my Bubbles top, I did get it from Primark quite a while ago and I love it, it's adorable. I do have the rest of the Powerpuff Girl range as well so I might do videos with those in the future as well. I thought this would be a a cute little Powerpuff Girls Bubbles Halloween video. I have got together a couple of other makeup bits as well that I think I'm going to use along the way. So first of all I'm going to use some blush because I'm looking a bit pale. Bubbles is just iconic isn't she? The cute little pigtails, she loves animals, I love animals and I used to wear pigtails all my life. I think she is probably the Powerpuff Girl that I relate to the most and I'm excited to do this video. First up we've got the Revolution Powerpuff Girls blush in the shade Bubbles. You can see the shade on the top there. This is a liquid blush. When you take the lid off it's got a little fluffy applicator as I said I haven't actually used oh I haven't actually used this that looks a bit Halloweeny doesn't it <laughs> squeeze it a little bit more shall we I don't know I've never used one of these puff things oh it's a nice color though I'm just gonna splat some on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like oh that's actually come off a lot thinner than I thought it would that's less scary on the back of my hand I'm gonna pop this on my face now so we can have a bit of color to our cheeks also just a moment for the packaging how adorable is that <laughs> I have got my foundation laid down so I'm just gonna tap I'm not really familiar with this formula so I don't know I'm gonna use my finger just to blend out slightly I know a lot of people use blending sponges but I'm just gonna try with my finger oh that's cute I'm gonna pop a little bit more that is a very nice colour. It's actually very natural looking. I didn't expect it to be as delicate looking as that. I actually really like that. I wish I'd used this sooner. <laughs> oh I love it. I'm just going to tap a little bit more on my finger and then just bring some round the front. I love blush. It can make you look so healthy and we're going for a bubbles look today and I think this is the perfect colour. I am actually loving this formula. How easy is that blending out? This collection has been out quite some time as well. Just gonna tap a little bit there. Yeah, so this collection came out quite a while ago. I did do a video on the big palette. I still have that over there. And the little palettes were something that I took quite a while to get hold of, but they are so adorable. I am really happy with that blush. I think it looks beautiful. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. See, I really like the colour of that when it's laid down. It's not as powerful as I thought it would be. And it does look really natural and cute. If you do like makeup, beauty and hair videos, I do upload three times a week. So please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I'm loving these themed videos. I've been doing a couple of Halloween videos. Some of them scary, some of them not. And I've been really enjoying it. I think I always go cute to Halloween. I don't really do anything creepy. That's just my vibe. <laughs> that is beautiful. I'm so happy with this blush. I am so pleased I got it. I think I did manage to get this in the sale as well. It took me a while to get this collection because all of the things sold out quite rightly and I kind of gathered them at different points. That blush is beautiful. Next onto the Mojo Jojo highlighter palette. This is iconic. I loved the shades in this as soon as I saw it. I'm a big fan of gold and champagne highlighters. I'm just going to swatch them all so we can see what they look like but these look beautiful and this was probably the most hardest thing to get hold of out of the whole collection. Look at those. They are stunning. These would be lovely on the eyes as well. I think I'm going to go with this shade here. So the palest one in the middle because I think that's more bubbles than the others. It is kind of a peach tone. You can kind of see that on camera. It's got a little star in it. I'm just gonna run that. Oh, oh yes, it does look icy peachy. That's beautiful. And the same on the other side. I just think highlighter brings your face to life. <laughs> and that's so nice. I love it. I have got some backup highlighters in case I feel I need one at the end of this video, but I'm happy with that. I think Bubbles is the really cute one, isn't she? Blossom's kind of confident buttercup's the sassy one <laughs> we always said my sister was like buttercup and then when we used to play powerful girls i was always bubbles as well <laughs> that was quite cute i think a lot of my friends relate to bubbles actually that's the Mojo Jojo highlighter, the middle shade. Over the moon with that, very happy. Definitely will try the other highlighters out in the other Powerpuff Girl videos when I do those, but really love that highlighter. I did actually get a little lip gloss set as well. This is the Bubbles one. I love the packaging. It is so adorable, I can't cope. I kind of think this has a little blue tint in it, but I'm not quite sure, it might just be clear. But we're going to use this anyway. It's got a nice little applicator there. It does look like it's got a tiny bit of a blue tint. It does smell 
of blueberry, I think. Maybe that's just psychologically because it's a little bit blue. <laughs> Ooh, that feels very nice on the lips. I love lip glosses, they're my favourite lip product and that is adorable. <laughs> I kind of want to add a little bit of sparkle, so I'm going to use the Shimmer Bomb Lip Gloss by Revolution. This is what it looks like, it's very sparkly, very pink, and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the centre of my lip because I feel like bubbles would suit this very much. I'm just going to dab a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to place it there like that. It's got a nice shine to it. And I feel like Bubbles would appreciate that. Next up, we've got the eyeshadow palette and then the water activated liner set. I think this is so adorable. It's got the three Powerpuff Girls on the front and it's got six colours in there. First of all, we're going to go into the eyeshadow palette. This is the XX Revolution Bubbles eyeshadow palette. And that's what it looks like inside. It's got a very blue themed palette. And then it's got, they look like little pigs in there, but they're not the Bubbles logos. You can see her on the front. <laughs> but they're really cute. So there's a couple of shimmers in there and a couple of mattes. I I really love the colour stories of these. I thought they were so much fun that they had one for each of the Powerpuff Girls and I think this is gonna go really well with our Powerpuff Girl Bubbles Halloween look. And even holding them back here, they are stunning blues. They're very oceany, perfect for the character. I've just primed my eyes using the Revolution Super Base. I am loving that blush. First of all, I'm gonna take my winged brush and I'm gonna go in one of these blues. Hmm. I can see on the top that she's got, I think that's her eyeball rather than her eyeshadow. That's definitely her eyeball. But we're going to go with it anyway. I'm going to go in this darker shade here on the outside. Pick up on the brush looks amazing. I love that. It's a very deep ocean blue. And I'm going to run that on the outer wing. I have played with blues before on my channel. I remember I did an ocean look and I really enjoyed that. So I'm going to just use that to bring into the lid slightly. If I do anything for Halloween this year, I've got a costume in mind, but I thought it might be quite fun to do some videos just in case I don't get to go out. I'm going to just bring that over the lid slightly and I will tidy the wing up a little bit after as well. But I do love a blue outer wing. That's what I've got on my wing so far. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And I'm just going to drag that out again on the other side and bring it slightly over the lid. A bit like an eyeliner wing. And of course I'll use the other blues to blend it out a little bit. And let me know as well, are you doing anything for Halloween? I would love to know. I love seeing what everybody dresses up as, that's my favourite thing. That's what I've got in my eyes so far. I'm going to take my little brush and we're going to go in this slightly lighter blue down here. For that one, I'm going to dust a bit from the inner corner and then use that to fill over the lid towards the wing. I love these colours together. XX Revolution is quite good for blending. And if you're watching this as well, I'm not a professional. I just enjoy using makeup on my YouTube channel on my days off. So if you want to subscribe, it would mean the world to me. I'm just having a bit of fun. And I'm going to take that a little bit further up the lid there just to join into the crease. They are blending together very nicely. And then I'm gonna do the same again on the other side. I actually used to wear these pigtails every day for school. Me and my sister used to call them dragon pigtails and when she fell out with me, she wouldn't do them for me because I didn't know how to do them properly when I was little. And uh, yeah, she used to <laughs> not do this hairstyle for me if we fell out the night before. So that was a fun fact for you there. <laughs> but now I'm an adult, I can do it myself. Fun times. I have got a bit of fallout just because it's bright blue and it's more obvious. That's what I've got in my eyes so far. I'm not worried it's a mess at the moment because I'm going to take this lighter blue and I'm going to take that all over the gap on the lid. And I'm just going to use that to blend the other colours. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful blue. That is so cute. <laughs> I'm just going to take it into the crease slightly. I think the waterline is going to be quite full on this one. And back in that light shade again on the other side. I think that's my favourite blue from the palette. It's so bright. I think that would be quite a fun little series as well doing the Powerpuff Girls. It's very nostalgic to me and probably a lot of people watching, I'm assuming. It was a big part of my childhood. That's what I've got in my eyes so far. I kind of want to deepen the wing out a little bit. So I'm going to go back in that darker blue shade and I'm just going to run it slightly over again just to darken out that top waterline a bit. And the same on this side. I really like that. I'm going to go in my waterline now. I'm going to take the dark blue in the waterline. And I'm just going to run it down from the wing. Underneath the lash line. 
and the same on this side I really like blue water lines I think dark colours look so pretty and then finally for the waterline, I'm going to go in this bright blue again. And I'm just going to tape that under the inner corner because I think that will give it a nice glow. I love that blue. It's kind of like a dolphin blue. Let me know as well, did you pick up the Powerpuff Girl collection? I'd love to know. I do have the big palette and I did do a video with that. But I think the little palettes are very cute. I've just got rid of some fallout. I'm very happy with that look. I love the way it's coming together. I think the pigtails definitely make it more bubbles. But I can definitely see this working as a Halloween costume. Next we've got three shimmers. I'm just going to dip my finger in them all just to see what they like. That's what they look like. So we've got a silver toned one, a white one, and then this beautiful blue colour. I kind of want to run that blue colour on the wing. I'm going to dip my brush in. I think I might have to use a setting spray, but we'll see. Actually saying that, that has picked up very well on the brush. And for that, I'm just going to tap slightly on the outer corner. I want to see if it does pick up the shimmer. And then the same on this side as well. That's cute, I like that. I am going to try going in my little finger and just patting on the lid to see if the sparkle's a bit stronger. I think it is, you know. And the same over here. Ooh, I like that. I am going to go in the little Powerpuff Girls XX Revolution Water Activated Liner Palette. This is adorable. It does come with its own little brush that says the Powerpuff Girls on. <laughs> that is so cute. That's what the palette looks like. I love the graphics. And then inside you've got six water activated liners. I'm going to go in the blue one today. I've just put a blob of water on the blue as you can see there. So I'll show you what it looks like. It kind of goes a bit painty and this is a really stiff brush. So that's what you're meant to use with it. I'm going to take the light blue on the inner corner of the waterline and see if we can get some payoff. It's definitely brightened the waterline up. I'm going to try and carry on with that. Sorry if you find this a bit gross. <laughs> and as I've used it, the brush has actually softened up. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I actually like the way it's brightened up the waterline. I can see it's very subtle. But it has given that little bit of a pop. So I'm very happy. I definitely will try this out more in future videos. Just to see if I can get the hang of it. But I think these colours are really cute. I feel like Bubbles, because she's very blue themed. She would have a really nice inner corner highlight. So I'm going to go into the Lottie London Diamond Bounce Highlighter. Which is one of my favourite glitter highlighters on the planet. It's beautiful, heavily panned. And that's what it looks like. And I feel like this would be really good for bubbles. I'm just going to take my finger and rub it in there like that. And I'm going to dab that on the inner corner. And this is very glittery as well, which I really like. I'm going to take my little finger, just pat slightly on the inner corner. Yes. And the same on this side. I like white inner corners an awful lot. <laughs> there we go. Just before my mascara, I am going to pop some of this She Glam Shadow Jelly Gel thing. What's that? I don't even know what it is. I've used it a few times though and I really like it. I'll take the lid off and show you. So it's kind of like a jelly jam thing. It has got a protective seal on it but it's kind of got blue reflex in. I have worn this to two festivals and I've really enjoyed it. So that's what it looks like. I'll hold it back here so you can see it with the lights. It's kind of got a neon glitter in it which is beautiful. I have worn this as a highlighter as well when I've been out which I really enjoyed. But I'm going to pop this on the lid. For this one I'm just going to tap slightly there because it has got blue reflex but it is still clear I think it's going to make it pop Ooh, the same on this side I really like this I actually found this gel thing by accident when I was getting something else on Shein and I really love it Ooh, it's very oceany I do I love that I'm going to use the Beauty Bay High Key Mascara now I've been using this in all of my recent videos I love it so so much I'm really happy with this look so far. I have picked out a lip product which kind of matches the blush. I do like the way my lips look now with this look, but I feel like I want to put a lip product on there. So I picked the Pout Bomb from Revolution from a collection in the shade Peachy because it matches the blush. I'm scared to squeeze that. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice. Do you see? This is almost a perfect match with the pout bomb and the blush. I'm actually quite proud of myself there. So let's put some lip gloss on. This one actually has a cooling scent, which is absolutely crazy. But it does make your lips a bit plumper, I think, because it's got the mint in. I can smell it now. Very minty. And I am running that over the Bubbles lip gloss. 
I can feel the cooling effect. It's so strange this. And it is the first one I've tried that's kind of minty. I can feel it. It's like I've got polos on my lips. But I definitely think that lip gloss goes well with the bubbles look. That's my finished Bubbles the Powerpuff Girl Halloween look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Obviously this is kind of a cute girly Halloween option. <laughs> I really just wanted to use my Bubbles palette and my little makeup collection from the Powerpuff Girls and I had a lot of fun with this. I do really like the blues. I think the top obviously makes it to be honest because otherwise you'd just think I'm just I've just got blue eyeshadow on really wouldn't you. But I really like the blush. I think this little palette's adorable. I'm definitely excited to go in the other palettes as well. I think the blue is beautiful and I love how the theme inside the palette it matches the theme on the front. The colours are almost identical. I love this blue here. I think that's stunning. So beautiful. Excited to try this more in the future. I think that probably actually, oh, I could have used that as an inner corner highlight. I forgot about that. Oh well. And I do really like the shimmers. I think the dark shimmer on there really made it. So very happy with this palette. Loved this pout bomb in the shade Peachy. I think it went really well with the look. It went well with the blush. Speaking of the blush, this is a proper highlight for me. I haven't tried this before now as you saw with the little applicator it didn't have anything on it I love this colour I'm really surprised at how pink it sort of translates on the skin yeah it looks kind of mauvey on here I thought it was a beautiful formula and I'm very excited to have this I don't know if you can still get it but very glad I managed to hunt it down a while ago in the sale and I'm very happy with it it looks so cute the high key mascara I've spoken about this a lot on my channel recently highly recommend it it gives me confidence and it makes my life lashes look amazing so very happy with this the water activated liners I definitely think it has done something to my lower lash line excited to try them out a bit more because I think the pink and the green really stand out and will go well with the Powerpuff Girls the buttercup and the blossom look and the little lip gloss really really cute very glad I got hold of the Mojo Jojo highlighter palette. I think it's stunning. And especially for somebody who loves gold highlighters, this is everything. That was my Bubbles Powerpuff Girls makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of video and you want to see more, I do upload three times a week. So it'd mean the world if you could subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram as well. That's at Zoe Glitter Zoe with a Y. Where I just post more makeup with girly beauty things like that. So if you enjoy my channel, you might like that kind of thing. Also, I want to know, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? Are you going cute or are you going spooky. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!